Well, this has been a great international year of cooperatives. For the cooperative movement, it has created a huge sense of cohesion, a huge sense of confidence in their own inputs at this moment to the global economy, but also confidence in their capacity to do more in the coming years. So uh, it's had that sort of uh, real sense of cohesion and the strength of the movement around the world. Uh, and overall, there's a, there's a great enthusiasm now to take forward that spirit. And this is the challenge going forward. The challenge is that we maintain the momentum and that we look and see where we can build cooperatives, particularly at this time of, of crisis across the world. Crisis in the developed economies, like in Europe, in the US and Japan, where the economies are stagnating or, uh, or, or even in recession, uh, where there's huge unemployment and austerity cuts. So the co-op movement can actually do something to support the real economy at grassroots level going forward uh, in those countries. In the emerging countries, the ones with the airplane economies where their economies are really taking off, in those emerging economies we have a role to play in actually looking at, at fairness in the way in which uh, the emerging economies are growing, fairness for working people um, so that they're not exploited in the workplace, which is often a concomitant of an emerging economy. After all, those countries are making a transition in perhaps 20 or 25 years that it took many of the older countries 200 years to go through. So there's a role for cooperatives in supporting them. And of course, in the developed world, there's a real need for cooperatives, particularly in places like Africa, where there's a real need for grassroots agricultural cooperative economy to keep African farmers on their land and to make sure that as Africa as, as a part of feeding the world going forward, because it has a lot of currently unproductive farmland which we will need to feed the world in the future, um, that, that actually the benefits of that growth and prosperity are kept for Africans in Africa and not to predator states who've bought up land or multinational businesses who are exporting the benefits. And cooperatives are all about that. They're about um, building the real economy and supporting people at grassroots level, building civil society, embedding democracy, teaching people skills in their own communities, and, 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 and in so many ways, building civil societies. That's our challenge for the future. Maintain our momentum, our enthusiasm, and help to build the cooperatives of the future.